meal with my father and said, I want to be a missionary to China or Japan. He said, no. I said, um, thank you for everything that you've done for my sister and for me. But I refuse to live my life just to work hard to get to a good college, to get a good job and make lots of money so my kids can have every opportunity to study hard, get into a good college, get a good job, make lots of money so their kids can have every opportunity to get into a good college, get a good job and make lots of money. I refuse to live my life that way. Our ministry today, my life, is basically the answer to three questions that I often ask. What is the most important strategic thing that you can possibly do with your life? Number two, where is the most strategic, needy, best place you can possibly do that most important thing? And then the third question is, what then um, is the most uh, strategic and best way to do that most important thing in that most strategic place? The personal call was to the largest unreached nation in the world, Japan. And the other personal call that I'll you know, I can share about is just the call, concrete call to obey Christ's command to love your enemies. And for us, those two things led us to Japan. When we first arrived in Japan in 98 and 99, it was, it was essentially, it was like a research year and a half. It was asking questions, it was talking to missionaries, talking to pastors, talking to young Christians, and saying, what can be done? 0.21% Protestant church-going population. Uh, the largest church in Korea may be four times, five times as large as all the Japanese Christians in the world combined. And we said, um, you know, what can be done? And 100% of the answers was, we need to train leaders. If there's no leadership, no young leaders who are trained and raised up, there will be no church, let alone 0.21%. So there are these huge fissures and huge um, pains in the depth of uh, especially youth culture that this generation is carrying with them that is um, really contributing towards a really powerful sense of hopelessness, of wandering, of identity seeking. And uh, one of my greatest concerns is that May, right, it seems like in many ways the church is not ready to capitalize on the opportunity because the door will be a lim lim open for a limited time. 